All right, welcome everyone. This is the mock interview series. And uh, as you are aware about the process, I'll be the candidate and Jamin will be the interviewer for this mock interview series, okay? Before we go ahead and get started with the, uh, get started with the interview, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you are an existing subscriber, press the bell icon so that you get notified. If you want to learn about cybersecurity career roadmap, I conduct a free cybersecurity career roadmap webinar every Saturday. The link is in the description below. So let's get started. Hi, Jamin. How are you? I'm good, Adish. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. So, Adish, today my question is on cryptography. Okay. So, in the cryptography, what is the difference between asymmetric and symmetric cryptography? So, uh, so cryptography is is more of is is, is a technology. It's a uh, is a framework used for the encryption, uh, securing the data, achieving the confidentiality. There are two methods of achieving the encryption or cryptography. The symmetric cryptography, where we use the same key for encryption and decryption of the data. So, on the sender side, we use a key to encrypt the data and on the decryption on the in the recipient end we use the same key to decrypt it back the problem is if it's if the key get compromised the anybody can you know uh, decrypt the message as well if the sender key get compromised that's where we, on the other hand we have asymmetric cryptography where we use a pair of and that pair of key consists of a public key and private Public key is meant to be uh, shared, and private key is is uh, kept private. It's just just to give just to give you an example. I mean, it can be treated as your Gmail ID and a password, right? So you can share your Gmail ID uh, with anybody, but you never share your password. So you share your Gmail ID with everyone to send you an email but only you can access that email or your account by using your password so in case of asymmetric key uh, we use the public key to encrypt the data but uh, to decrypt the data back we have to have our private key so uh, symmetry the beauty i mean uh, we still have symmetric key uh, so the beauty about symmetric key is faster it's more efficient if you have bulk of data, but it's not that secure. So for better security, stronger security, like uh, uh, HTTPS based connection that we do it on the internet, or maybe for uh, virtual private network or the untrusted network like IPsec tunnel, remote access VPN, we use the asymmetric key encryption. So that's very stronger. So that, that's the difference between symmetric and asymmetric. Uh, cryptography so yeah Rajesh uh, my next question is what is a digital signature and how does it work sure so digital signature is another application of cryptography function in this case uh, the the purpose is to verify the authenticity and integrity of the message so it's basically like uh, let's say I want to send a message to my friend and uh, the message is just hello how are you doing today so my friend want to verify the authentic authenticity of the message as if if it came from me or someone else so in this case what's going to happen is um, i have to create a hash of my message hello how are you doing today and that hash can be created by using different hashing algorithm maybe sha256 or md5 and that, then that hash value will be encrypted by my own, by my own private key, the sender's private key. Okay. Now this encrypted message will be sent to the recipient. On the recipient end, he will use my public key, which is actually shared with everyone. So he can use my public key to, to actually verify the message, to decrypt the hash value and verify the message authenticity. He will only be able to uh you know verify if it came from me but uh uh that's that's the 
purpose of uh, entire uh, digital signature that goes along with it. If the decrypted hash matches with the hash of the received message, then only it uh, then only it verifies that the it came uh, both the messages are same. But he won't be able to read actual content, uh, although he only be able to verify the hash value of it. So before even he can read the message, he can verify if it came from the same person or not. So that that's the purpose of digital signature. Yeah. Okay. And next question is, what is key management in cryptography? So key management is very, very important because you see key management is the purpose of managing all the keys, like public key, private key. There is a different key as well, SSH key as well. So uh, it is important to manage all those key because if you look at the larger organization, multinational business, that's where we, they have thousands of key. Even in the cloud infrastructure, they have thousands of key and that has to be a way to manage all those key. Um, the, the key generation, key storage, storage, key exchange, key rotation. And there are multiple other activity that involve. And if we have an effective key management system that ensures that we have a proper confidentiality, integrity and availability of all those key in the network. So there are different uh, solutions, products out there in the market for key management system. Even AWS, Azure also provide their own key management system where they can, we can store our key uh, on the cloud. And we also have some hardware based solution, HSM as well. It's physically device that generates the key, stores the key. This is also widely used by the uh, uh, people who have uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. There are some open source solutions as well. And uh, there are some other enterprise uh, enterprise company as well. Like uh, there's a company called HashiCorp Vault. There's a company called Hals, uh, Cypher's Trust Manager. Which, uh, which has a centralized key management system to uh, to have the entire key lifecycle management of the uh, different key pair. But of course, access control and audit trail as well. So th this is very, very important in key management. And uh, yeah, so that, that's how the key management is used in cryptography to store the pair of key, public and private key in the off for every devices and for every users in the network. So yeah. Okay, got it. So, Nisha, this is all I have for today. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamin. Uh, so now uh, I just want to give you a, a, a bit of a detailed explanation, I would say, uh, about the public and private keys. So let me share my screen quickly. And uh, yeah, so as you can see in the diagram, uh, we have two person, right? Uh, if you remember, I talked about uh, how what if I want to send the hello, how are you message to my friend, uh, how the message would be encrypted and how the digital signature would work, right? So just to give you a diagram ex explanation through a diagram, let's say Alice want to send a, send, in, send a message to Bob, okay? So the send, sender is of course Alice uh, and Bob will be the recipient. Now, if he want to send a message, message will be encrypted by the Bob's public public key remember this because even if you even in the real world right if i want to send an email to maybe german right so i'll draft an email over the email okay i'm i want to send a message in through the email conversation or maybe gmail uh, i need to have german email id and that acts like a, a public key right that's German's public key. The Gmail ID of German is nothing but the Gmail is the public key of German. And uh, German's private key is German's Gmail password, right? So I'll, I'll definitely be having his public key, his email ID, exactly the same way in the PKI, in the uh, cryptography, in the asymmetric key. Uh, Alice will be having public key of Bob. He will use... Uh, his message and he will he will encrypt the message by using public key of Bob signed with the Alice uh, private key and then he will uh, but 
remember this private key will be stored locally it won't be shared on the network now um, he will send the message over the internet but even if eve who want to see the message he won't be able to see the message right because uh, it it's not possible because it in order to decrypt the message we need bob's private key only bob with his own private key can able to decrypt it remember so public key is used for encryption and private key is used for decrypting the same message so the message will be received by bob and if bob want to see the message he can decrypt it by using his own private key why because the message was encrypted by using bob's public key remember this okay so uh, bob received that and he can see the message finally yes it's hello all right so that's how the pki or public key infrastructure or cryptography really works if you have any question do let me know in the comment section below this is me rajnish gupta with jevin pathak bye for now